make them bounce. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Geoded episode. So, I apologize to my viewers for me not uploading a lot of content. I went for like a good week and a half where I just recorded about 20 full 27 videos. When I went back to go edit them, I realized OBS had an update and all my content came out choppy, laggy, five second delayed. So there's a lot of videos, certain openings of packs and stuff like that, etc. That I just, I mean, I don't have the footage that I can upload to show you guys of all the stuff. But, never mind that, I'm back. And today I got a, a little fun late bloomer deck that I decided to make. And I had a lot of really good matches online with this. And I just really wanted to kind of show it to you guys. So I have 17 Pokemon, 31 Trainers, and 12 Energies. My Pokemon are 3 Wimp Pods with the Wimp Out ability. 2 Galeo Sopod GXs for First Impression, Armor Press, Crossing Cut GX. All the attacks are good on this. 1 Tapu Coco for Free Retreat and Flying Flip as the attack. 3 Tapu Lele GXs so I can use Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. Also have 4 Trubbish Acid Spray 1. So I can use it with Garbodor Garbotoxin and the Trash Lance Garbodor for the Lay Bloomer to make sure I get those knockouts. I got three Field Blowers to get rid of those pesky Stadium and uh, Tool cards that they equip. One Special Charge, two Super Rods, four Ultra Balls, one Parallel City to help limit and kind of trap my opponent. And that way I can use... The Trash and Lanch Garbodor to pull out whatever ones I want to knock out with Guzma. One Acerola. I also run one Bridget. One Gladion. In case I do prize my Bridget, which I do a lot, and then I tap Lele for Bridget, but like Bridget's prize, so I Gladion, get Bridget, next turn set up. Three Guzmas. One Lusamine, so I can get back my supporters. Four N, which is pretty staple, and three Sycamores. I also have two Choice Bands, four Float Stones to get that free retreat, and Garbotoxin needs this one. Four Double Colorless Energies, four Rainbow Energies, and four Grass Energies. Enough talk, let's hop into it. Alright, so hopefully I can get some good games out of this since you guys didn't get to see it my other footage let's play trash <laughs> that's how I named my deck trash because it I mean it, it's ridiculous absolutely redonkulous as I would say toad to dial coin I like it the pit Start with one pod. Happy to see you, mate. Now let's get this battle royale on the match. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna Ultra Ball and get rid of Ultra Ball and Lusamine to get out Lele to Bridget to set up Wimp out into Coco and then hopefully see but I want to keep that ultra ball so I can search out mm, okay we'll see actually I might just get rid of this cause Lele one Lele one Lele is prized but that's fine I still have Bridget in the deck so I can also bridge it. Get my setup going so it'll have a nice little field.
MK because I want to Ultra Ball for Galeosapod to get a knockout. That would be perfect. Alright, so that must have hurt. Okay, so he's got Water Deck. Aqua Patch, Water Energy, Double Colorless. So we're looking at a Nine Tails deck. Excuse me. Alright, so we got a Vulpix who's going to Beacon. And obviously I'm going to have to end because that, that, yeah, I, no. I ain't gonna have that. It does have two items. So Trash Lanch is getting bigger. <clears throat> okay, so we got an Espeon and a Lola Nine Tails. Might just leave it at that. Cause I don't, I don't want him to kill my Garbodor. But then again, I feel like I set him up too early. I really need a Galeosopod. All right, so he's got a Nine Tails GX up. He's got another Vulpix. He's gonna Beacon again. Search out what he needs. All right, so now my Field Blower will get two items in the grave. So then I'm gonna have. 20, 40, 60, 80. Ooh, Ultra Ball, still 80. Hope I can get another Fuel Blower. I wanted that DCE for Tapu Coco. But hey, it looks like Leosapod's coming out. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Let's get this bad boy out. Use this to get rid of all that. Let's retreat that, bring him out, knock out. Floatstone, not bad. So if he retreats this, pulls this out to do some more damage, what am I going to do? I have kind of a dead hand. I mean, I can use both cards in my hand, but I need more.
shots. So now he's one shot potential. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. So Garbodor can do 120 right now. So when this comes out, it's gone. Okay, so he's doing 60 and he thinks I'm locked. But what he doesn't know is I got a float stone in my hand. And a gobbador that does trash a launch. Aha! <laughs> Another one. Money. Another float. So guess what? Garb can come back and another first impression. Got rid of my float stone. Good job, mate. Good job, old mate. Oh, and I got it back! Money! Oh, man. Man, oh, man. You're gonna do a flying flip and kill my Wimpod so I can't evolve it to Galeosapod. No bueno. Tell you what I am gonna do. I'm gonna shut down abilities. Which is what I should have done before. Because regardless, I'm gonna get a knockout on him. Trash! <laughs> Told you, man. This deck is absolutely redonkulous. Garbage is just. Trash. 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 There comes Avalanche. Of garbage. Garbage. Yeah, you ain't gonna win that one. <laughs> Got him! Alright, so, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Till then, catch you next time. Geodude, out.